This is an exclusive apartment condominium report. And so what I've done here is compiled some information, divided up in different quadrants, and looked at it in different price ranges, different price groups, so that you as a buyer know if it's a good time to buy and as a seller, if it's a good time to sell. To help make our stats a little bit more relevant to you, I'm going to divide up the city into different quadrants. I'm going to do the inner city, the northwest section, the southwest, and what we're talking is west of Sarcy, because we would consider anything east of Sarcy to be inner city. The deep south, which would be Fish Creek, um, Chaparral, Mahogany, all of these south areas. And lastly, we'll do the northeast. At the end of the video, we'll go over the whole market so you can compare how your numbers match up with the overall. Okay, so 134 sold listings in the inner city condo market. $403 per square foot was the median or where most of the buyers were buying properties and 408 was the average price. Now when you average sales price per square foot. Now when we look at the average price uh, was about 350 and most of those were 869 square feet. Now we compare that to the previous month, 197 sold listings for November and price actually a little bit lower uh, than that. And when we look at the December of last year, almost exactly the same amount of sales, very similar market except for sales price. The median price back then was 366 a square foot and the average, uh, the median price, median always means that uh, the largest group. So if we said 80% of the sales or 70% of the sales would be 300,000 at 366 a square foot last year. And uh, so definitely the market was definitely up. Um, you know, it's interesting the sale price it wasn't actually up that much this year compared to last year. More, uh, more or less, the square footage price was up uh, quite a bit. Now we look at the inventory supply. January supply, 502 listings available. Lots of property available uh, for buyers, and but priced a little bit higher because it's bigger. And um, the median price, where most of the properties were on the market at 379, and uh, up to about 565 was the average. So what we're finding is, is that what's left on the market is priced higher and higher per square foot, much higher than where the buyers are really looking. So now we'll move on to the Northwest section. Okay. So moving on to the Northwest, 27 sold listings in, uh, in December, priced between 340 and 330 per square foot and the average sale price 275 to 287. Now we look at how that compared to the previous month, 47, uh, 43 sold listings, priced between 318 and 320. And we look at December of last year, 21 sold listings. So this year was a little bit better for condos in the Northwest, but the price per square foot was definitely lower last year, uh, 285 to 289. The buyers were purchasing, most of the buyers were buying at 245 last year. Now they're paying 275. So almost $30,000 higher. We look at the inventory supply, 27 sold listings uh, last month. We have about a three, almost three months supply of listings and they're priced between 319 and 327, which means that they're priced well for buyers right now. Um, so they've obviously, people have adjusted the price, the, the actual uh, square footage is about the same. And um, when we look at what's available, 269 to 283, where most of them are 269. Buyers were looking for properties at 285, which means there's a fair amount of good property for buyers out there. It's a there's a buyer's market right now in the Northwest for condos. Now we're going to move to the uh, Southwest section. We're talking west of Sarcy, Aspen, these areas, um, Signal Hill, and so forth. Okay, so in the Southwest, only 12 sold listings. Now, 326 to 333 was the price per square foot, and 287 to 304 was the average sale price. Now, compared to the previous month, 18 sales, so down a little bit. That's to be expected. Uh, and but the sales prices were actually, on average, were higher per square foot for uh, for December than they were the previous month. Now, when we compare that the previous year, about the same amount of sales, 13 sales. But the price per square foot was 270 to 281 last year, and sale price was 325 to 340. That's interesting. So people were buying larger units last year. They were paying less per square foot, and they were getting more and bigger properties out there. Uh, so it was nice for buyers last year. Now we look at the inventory supply. We can see 44 active listings, almost 
well, three, a little bit more than three months supply. So a uh, good market for a buyer and priced at 337 to 339. So it's what's left on the market is actually priced a little bit higher than where the, sell, the buyers are really wanting to pay. And um, 359 to 363 is the asking prices. Buyers are really looking for properties priced between 299 and, and 313. So means that well, from what's left uh, left available out there, not too much for uh, for buyers. Lots of inventory, but not price where they're really looking for it. And now we'll move to the deep south. Evergreen, Silverado, Cranston, Mackenzie Town, all these south areas. Okay, so now on to the deep south. We got 28 sold listings in December. Price between 324 a square foot, where there were most of the buyers were 324, and the average was 316. Now that means that uh, where most of the buyers were buying properties, 257, they were actually getting property. They were buying from 260. The list price was 267 to 257 was the sale price. Sometimes these numbers just flip upside down based on on what the average is and that's usually because of the top sale price that happens now we look at how that compares to the previous month 45 sold listings and actually there's a fair amount of listings sold down there 306 was the um, was the median price last month and 312 was the median price was the average price on uh, the previous previous month so very very similar now we look at uh, the previous year sales almost the same uh, 282 uh, per square foot um, on the median and 283 for the average and 230 on the sale price which is definitely much lower than where we're at this year for the same month now we look at the inventory supply 78 sold listings so a little bit more than two months two and a half months supply so that's it's not totally oversupplied out there and it's priced between 329 and 331 which is not so far off our price here uh, of where the buyers were expecting especially on the list price the list price it's really kind of where the buyers are expecting. Having said that, um, the prices are just a little bit higher than where, uh, where the, than where the buyer is expecting to look for the for the asking prices. But there's actually it looks like it's close enough here that there's going to be some continued sales happening, uh, and it's, it's still a pretty good market up there for for buyers. And next, we'll look at the northeast section of the city. Okay, so now for the Northeast, 15 sold listings in the Northeast in December, and they were sold between 285 and 278 a square foot, median mean, meaning where most of the buyers were buying. And uh, when we look at how that compared to the previous month, about the same. It's interestingly enough that November was very similar to December, meaning that up there, people aren't taking as much time for Christmas, it looks like. 269 to 278, so the sales were very similar to the previous month. And we look at the previous year, very much the same sales, a little bit better this year, but not much. And priced at 209 to 215 a square foot. So price is definitely up this year compared to last year in December. Now we look at the inventory supply. We can see 76 active listings. That means there's lots for buyers up there. And what's left on the market is priced actually a little bit high, 312 to 294. Buyers were looking for properties priced between 297 and 291 a square foot. Uh, there's going to be some available because we can see 294 is fairly close. Uh, but buyers were looking for, oh, well, they're looking, everything is going to fit right in the, in the price ranges. They're all pretty close. So it looks like the buyers will be uh, surprised to find some active listings, actually a lot of active listings available for the start of January. Now I'll look at our overall inventory for the condo market. And you can see when you start at the top end, we had 25 available listings, over 1.5 million and no sales. We pretty much got no sales. We had two sales between 1.1 million and a million. And uh, we have, we go down to the lower end of the spectrum. I mean, if there's anything below 150, it's, uh, it's going to sell pretty quick. But in most other groups, like three months supply between 150 and 200,000, uh, you know, there's uh, more than double the supply for between 200 and 250. So in all of the condo ranges, there's actually an oversupply of condos on the market. So if you're a buyer looking for a condo, it's still a really good time to buy. Since the year 2000, I've sold hundreds of homes all over the city. I can help you. And remember, as always, commissions are negotiable.